Hello everybody, Storm here. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. In the last episode, we got our eastern line started. It is going to be, it ran from Denerim to Alamigo. And has this big boy locomotive train on it. Which I forgot to turn off those little numbers. There we go. And so it's running. It's actually beginning to carry some passengers, but it's costing an absolute ton of money at the moment. Because, of course it is. And so, we got that all done. Stations in, lines in, trams in for those two cities. Eventually that line is going to span, well, half a dozen cities and, you know, half the length of the map. So, you know, it'll be... Should be interesting. Oh, EMD AM sevens with Amtrak livery and Am Fleet Amtrak Phase Two coaches. Okay, cool. And so, I need to get these cities starting to grow. Now, one of the things I want to do is actually get this this line right here connected to the larger passenger network. So I can hopefully feed some passengers into it and get that thing more profitable sooner. Because these two towns aren't really going to generate a ton of passengers at this point. On their own. So, what I want to do today is get an airport installed. Up here near Denerim. And get a line set up to feed passengers from the other airports to this one. So, that's going to be the plan today. Alright, so let's go ahead and get to it then. Alright, airport. And here we are, passenger airport with... That was small and large. Hangar? Yeah, we're going to have a hangar there. Supposedly, this can support up to two runways, but I don't see an option here for adding another runway. $19 million to build. <laughs> because of all the flattening that has to be done, that's what's causing most of that. I would love to get it installed in, a, in such a way that um, it would get direct catchment. On that station. I have to do a lot of reconfiguring of the of the actual of the actual. Um... Actually, let's turn the hangar off. Because what I'm probably going to end up doing is moving it. Yeah, I wish I could actually turn the terminal off and turn the main building off. Because all, all I really want to do is put down the runway. Oh well, I'm going to go ahead and do is put that in. $24 million. Sure. Because what I want to then do is get rid of that and get rid of that. Now I got a big hole in the trees. That's unfortunate. I'll have to fix that later at some point. Alright, so I want the main building over here. Uh, 
and the passenger terminal there and the hangar there Yes, that ought to do. Now we got an auto save. And what we're going to be hoping is that, that we're not going to need to expand this station at all, which I don't really think we can, or we'll need to. But if we can, we can actually expand it um, in this direction, to the north rather than to the south. Uh, earnings are way negative now. Investments. Yeah, we've been spending a lot of money on uh, vehicles, roads, tracks, that sort of stuff. I probably had to let that run for a couple of years and just not build anything for a little bit. But everything else is profitable. It's just the uh, the new stuff we're constructing that's costing us money. I mean, you're negative four million, but that should be offset. We are actually starting to get passengers. Not enough. All right, so. Let's just get a road in. There. There's where we want the road. And I want now a curve road to come down here and connect into that intersection. Actually, let's get it down to the ground first. And yeah, it'll knock out that building, but whatever. And yep, now the uh, train station is in the catchment of the airport. Excellent. Ah. Mixed trees. I think these are almost exclusively, uh... Hey, Scott's Pine? Yeah. There we go. That's better. Passenger airline. Oh. I am going to need to add a terminal here. Uh, let's move the... Hanger. Actually, let me put the hanger like all the way back here. All right. So for terminals, this guy is going to be on terminal two, and this is going to be the north access. Uh, 
air passengers, uh, north access. Now, I can double check, because I'd really like to have two runways here. But I see, I mean, I see an approach lights. That determines which direction that the they land at and take off from. But I see nothing here for adding another runway to this airport. So they're just going to share the runway. Oh well. Alright, let's go ahead and pause it. Let's get um, planes on here. Hey, the 737-100 or the de Havilland Comet. 737's 20 passengers, which is kind of ridiculous, but for the mechanics of the game, it's quick, they're expensive. I guess we'll go with the 737s. We'll go with two. Alright, put one on that end. And one on the other end. And it's in catchment of the tram stop as well. Good. Buy vehicles. You. Done. Why are you running negative five million? That's weird. I think once it delivered some passengers, it would actually make some money. This is one of my mo most profitable passenger lines. Now it's starting to work that off. I don't know what's going on there. What we may want to do is remove some of those trees, but... I want to remove some of those trees at the end of the runway, too. Why are you turning in that direction? I think it would just turn in that direction and go south that way rather than turning north. Because they land here, so it should be land, take off, turn this way. Land, take off, turn this way. So, I don't know what that's doing there. But 
Yeah, it's gonna start becoming too busy there for one 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 run away. This train has probably got to get upgraded. What's their condition? Bad. Not very bad yet. I think I might have too many trains on that line now. Yep, I think I probably have too many trains on this line now. So, what I might do... Ooh, a whole bunch of new stuff. New wagons, a new plane. The Sherpa. Is let's tell you to go ahead and uh, sell you off. Because now it's eight billion in the red. And let's sell you off. So they're not carrying near enough passengers here. Uh, how is this train doing? Passenger numbers look good. We probably can use a second train. What are the actual financial numbers? 382,000 in the black. Well, I'm not sure I'm going to throw a second train on there just yet. We still have lots of passengers here, so these guys are profitable. So you gotta, I gotta take, yeah, take some trains off of there to let the passenger levels build back up a little bit. So these trains aren't running nearly as empty as they currently are. I mean, it was profitable for a little while, but passenger numbers have dropped off. Not really sure why. Oh well, we'll uh, see if those adjustments help. Yep, 
you have any passengers yet? Nope. That's probably the first landing there. Alright. So I guess what we'll do is we'll start working on the next leg of this line. The Alamigo to Eincrad leg. Alright, so if we're coming out of Alamigo here, it's probably going to come on the eastern side of town. And it's going to have to turn hard to come into Riven Rock. Alright, I think that's doable. Probably want to get rid of that road there. And actually, I'd like this to kind of be a little bit higher in altitude. Or elevation, I think is the right word term to use for things that are actually on the ground. So maybe around here. But when I flip it around... Yeah, I think that'll work. Drop that in. Now, as before... Going to increase the total size of the station. Stretch it all the way out to there? Ooh. I actually put, uh... Actually, let's take that last bit off. modern station roof. Hmm. I'll have to put that on a station here at some point. Yeah, take the catenary off. There we go. All right, let's see if we can get this hooked up to the roads. Just kind of make that a little bit of a flat spot. through there. That works. Uh, that should be able to come through there. I'm pretty sure a station around here should be in catchment. Okay. 
Okay, and then... I'll probably put a road through there. Save is uh, running, so it's not gonna let me do anything else until that uh, that finishes. Um, I don't want to run a bridge. Don't want to run a bridge. I do want to start coming down the hill. Like that. All right. I think that will work for our tram track. So if I put a stop there, it should be in catchment, and it is. I we'll want to stop probably there. I we'll want to stop up there. A stop along. There. That covers most of it, I think. Though I may need to stop right about there to cover most of the center of the city. So there we go. These are a little close together for my taste. So what I'll probably do, yeah, in fact, they're in catchment for each other, so actually I'll remove that one and bring it further along there. Hopefully that there's going to be parts of the city they're going to build out there somewhere at some point. Minecraft. There we go. And of course, Depot. There it works. Okay, Toronto CRLV is a new tram. Carries 20 passengers, 37 miles an hour, 370 horsepower. It's a little bit cheaper than this one, but it carries less passengers. Right, we'll just stick with these. I'll put six in this one. BR-142DR. Locomotive there. All right. 
Do we have passengers? We have passengers at the airport. Excellent. We have passengers on this train. Nice. Not enough. But it's a start. And we have passengers here. We have 12 passengers waiting there. All right. All right, but I think that we are about done for the episode today. We'll get that new rail line worked in next episode. So we'll go ahead and stop here for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time. Oh, there is one other thing I wanted to mention before heading out here, and that is that I have, in fact, uploaded this map to the Steam Workshop. So, it is now available for download in the Workshop, and I will have a link to the Workshop uh, posting in the video description uh, and all future video descriptions after this episode. Uh, it's taken me a little while to get that done. I've just been forgetting. So... Wanted to put that in there. All right. I'll see you next time.